Members of Congress get a chance to see what's new in the world of Army simulation and training at the annual demonstration in Washington. The display, sponsored by the U.S. Program Executive Office for Simulation, Training and Instrumentation, aims to educate and inform members of Congress and their staffers on the latest Army training products. Uh, oftentimes, we're below the radar uh, from Congress and their staffers, so we think it's critical that they hear about what's going on, where the successes are, where we're struggling a little bit so that they can make informed decisions uh, uh, when the budget comes to pass. This year, the focus is on raising cultural awareness. This is an iPod, but it doesn't play music. It's a one-way translation device. The program gives soldiers common audio and visual commands in Arabic, Kurdish, Dari, or Pashto. But it also adds a human touch that's often lost in translation. But there are phrases that make a soldier very well-rounded, such as, in winning the hearts and minds, there are phrases, you know, can I give your children these gifts? Star Wars Ambush is a PC-based multiplayer video game that teaches cognitive skills in tactical decision-making. Third ID of the U.S. Army. Let me ask you what your name is. Situations can be modified as players adapt to different scenarios. We're trying to uh, build tools that can help the soldiers in an urban environment where uh, non-kinetic effects, that is things that involve not just shooting and firing weapon systems, but interacting with uh, the, the local population. This year, approximately 120 government and contract personnel supported the demonstration.